January 27th is the National Chocolate Cake Day. The best chocolate cake I can't wait to try it. Sounds sweet to me. This recipe I'm going to show you how to make rich chocolate cake with double layers covered with chocolate frosting. So the first thing you want to do, you're going to preheat your oven for 350 degrees. You want to make sure the oven is preheated. What you're going to do, we're going to melt 12 tablespoons of room temperature unsalted butter. We're going to put in 1 cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Once you put it in, you're going to melt the butter and the chocolate into the double boiler. Or you can put it in the microwave much faster as you can. The butter and the chocolate is almost going to melt into the double boiler or the microwave. I'm going to keep going. The butter and the chocolate is almost melting. As you can see, the butter and the chocolate is melting into the double boiler on high heat. So, we're going to remove this from the heat and then we're going to finish for the rest of the ingredients. Okay, we're going to finish the rest of the ingredients and then we're going to start with has been only melt the butter and the chocolate. Give it nice and easy. So the next step, we're going to put 3 4 cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And then I'm going to put in four extra large eggs. I'm just going to beat that up together. Then I'm going to add three four cup of whole milk. That's going to be for the white ingredients. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to prepare four dry ingredients. Alright, in a separate bowl, we're going to put in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of natural unsweetened cocoa, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And what we're going to do, we're going to sip this together so make sure it doesn't get any lumps all over it. So I'm going to sip this. That's going to be for dry ingredients. I'm going to put the dry to the wet, just little by little. I'm going to keep sifting it. I love sifting. This is really fun. So let's go ahead. down the bowl on the bottom occasionally. You can see the batter is nicely thin together and then we're going to wrap to prepare cake pan. I spray two 8 inch round cake pans lined with some parchment paper and then we're going to do I'm going to split the batter into two of each of the cake pans. I'm just going to use the ice cream scooper. I'm going to use the butter knife to spread it on the edge of the pan so you can use the offset spatula if you want. And just get it. Jiggle it. Okay, that goes into the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so the cake's done. We're going to turn this off the oven. We're going to take it out and then, ooh, it smells good. And then you're going to put it on a wire rack. 
I flipped the cake over on a wire wire to transfer. What I did was I peeled up the parchment paper, but this one comes off really easy. I'm going to let this cool on a wire wrap, and then we're going to wait to frost it. To assemble the cake, you're going to spread a small amount of frosting. Later on, we're going to be making chocolate frosting. That goes right onto the cake board, has been lined with aluminum foil, has been wrapped up tight. Using the scotch tape to tape it down on the bottom of the cake board. I'm using 10 inch round cake board. Just take the first cake, I trim off the excess dome of the cake from the top that has wave level. You can put 4 strips of wax paper underneath the cake, so it's easy to pull it off after you frost it. Brush it with simple syrup, the cake has to be just moist. Spread more frosting on the first layer of the cake. Then you want to take the next layer of the cake. Brush more simple syrup. Cover the whole cake with more frosting. We're almost done, you can also decorate with some strawberries, blueberries and raspberry on top of the cake has been already frosted up. I already sliced up the strawberries in half. Strawberries on the edge, blueberries on the bottom of the strawberries, and then goes on the middle with the raspberries. You can also use chocolate decorations. You can put more frosting for your birthday party. Also you can use fondant, or even the buttercream flour which is optional. And that's it, you have a finished double layer rich chocolate cake covered with chocolate frosting. If you like more recipes, please give it a big thumbs up for everybody. Leave me a comment below, share my videos, and then don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are gonna love those chocolate cake. As always, thank you very much for watching.